brief overview of Galatians. So it's a letter that Paul, the apostle, wrote to the church of Galatia because people at the church were telling others that they needed to be circumcised in order to be saved. And Paul says, no, that's still by the law. If you're doing that, then you're still living under the law. You have to follow all these rules, but Christ came so that we no longer have to live under the law, but we are saved by faith. So our salvation comes from faith in Jesus Christ and not from all the works that we do because we are imperfect and we can never be perfect and be good enough. He says, you telling others you have to be circumcised, that's under the law. But he also says that because we have this freedom in Christ, we should not let our flesh overcome us. Now that we have the Holy Spirit, we have the power against our fleshly desires, and that we should no longer walk in the flesh. And he gives a list of a bunch of things that the flesh does. It says sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of angers, rivalries, drunkenness, dissensions, orgies, and things like that. He says, if you are making a practice of doing those things, so that if you're doing those things and you're not repenting, because we all make mistakes, we fall into temptations, but if you're making a practice of it and you're not even trying to repent, then you, then you will not see the kingdom of heaven. And God is not with you. He says, we, we have to be careful, of course, and we have to put God above all things. But we are not saved by these works. Works are a product of faith. Okay? Um, so that's, that's his warning to this church. He says, he even tells them that you have turned away from Christ. Those of you who are living under the law. That you might even be doing it just for power. The leaders are saying, hey, you need to be circumcised. You need to follow what we're saying. And it was their flesh wanting that power and wanting people to listen to them. And they completely abandoned Christ, but they're giving in to their own fleshly desires and following man.